Congratulations to the ground staff. They have done a fantastic job. We've had torrential rain. And Rossington works his way through the smoke, as does Dan Lawrence. Good evening, Dinesh Kartik. Oh, now close, surely close. Umpire Lloyd says not out. He went a long way across there. Curran thinks that's out. They've got a review. And they're using it. Wicket's going over. Not out. Stay with your original decision. We're on screen now. Yeah, good decision. Umpire Lloyd going over. Dinesh Kartik in the pod straight away. Oh, what a follow up from Lawrence. Straight back over Curran's head. Down the pitch, up and up, backward point. And even with the rain, that will go away for four. That's an edge. And it's flown away, the extra pace of Atkinson. And it's flown away for four. And again, a whippage over wide mid on towards the pod for six. Watch this replay and watch the way his hands take over. Run! Oh, lovely shot. That is down the hill, and you'll do well to catch up with that. <laughs> They've gone for the appeal and not the ball. And that will go away for four, giving us runs. Cut away, that's cut away for four as well, down to third man. Expensive start. Karen has uh, gone for some boundaries. Five boundaries already in nine deliveries. You're up. This time he does get it past Sauter. That will go away for four. High quality batting this from Dan Lawrence. Giving himself room. That's gone leg side. That's gone a long, long way. Which tier? Middle tier. <laughs> Yay! Bolden. So Sauter strikes with the second ball. And the breakthrough they were looking for. Yeah, Lawrence was Yay. looking to go downtown, gave himself some room, trying to go across the line. Sauter did the right thing. Yay! Just a flat ball, just skidded through. That's a fine shot to get off the mark. Starts off with a boundary, and the 50 comes up. Sound off the bat, raced away. That's in the air, taken! Reverse sweep, straight to backward point. And it's two and three balls for Sauter. Well, he's hit this like an absolute rocket. The problem is it was flat straight into Gus Atkinson's hands. He was looking for the elevation after drilling a four. Uh, this will be frustrating. Fine shot again. He's picked his spot. Easy as you would like. Oh, catch. oh, that's a fine shot. Picked it early, hit it in front of square and finds the boundary. First one for Wade, 70 for two. Keep that momentum going. Oh, <laughs> how well has he timed it? Just a flick of the wrist and it's a third six for Rossington. That's in the air, taken! It's a very good catch. Jordan Cox, the man taking it. It's because he actually waited a fraction, he just wanted to give himself time to judge it and then paired in late, got the judgment to perfection, hands under the ball. One of the hardest things is holding when your elbows hit the floor. Well, Cox was excellent. And he starts off with the boundary. Ah! Ah! Big appeal and given. Sound in a rhyme, firing in a little quicker and a little straighter. Daryl Mitchell is going to have a little chat with his mate at the other end. Pitching in line, hitting in line. Original decision is out and it's out. And stay with your original decision, Burns here. I'll let you know when you're on field. On camera now. 
Yeah, a good decision, oh, no. fair decision, maybe a hopeful review. They only get one. And he knows the dimensions of this ground really well and pitch conditions. Played a lot of cricket here for Middlesex. And that will find the boundary. Matthew Way plays that shot so well. He has just beat two men inside the circle and does so. Yeah, excellent, excellent catch diving forward. Jordan Cox did it a little while ago. And now it's Sam Curran. Excellent judgment. Stepped to the offside and just held his nerve, held his length. All Bukhara could do was toe-ended out to Sam Curran at long on. Good running catch coming forward. Safe pair of hands, good cricketer Sam Curran. <laughs> and that's very, very close and given. That is classic Sonny on the right. Oh, hidden behind. Looks like it was the leg cutter that just turned down the slope. Pitching middle. Hitting middle. We've gone too full. And, uh, well, that was just chipped back over his head by Wade. Well, first 100 game for Zach Chappell. And uh, the first ball, a boundary. <laughs> a beauty, he's gone full and given. What a ball after slower, slower, slower. He fires it in. Excellent. Beautiful bowling at the death. It's fallen straight from Curran. Completely. <laughs> well, he's gone high and up in the air. And the fielder. Underneath it, it is, a, it is a wicket. That was a subdued response there from Cox, who's done brilliantly twice today. Catching has been excellent tonight from the Oval Invincible, Invincibles. Really good bowling again, taking Matthew Wade over and wide and out of his swing. But this is an excellent catch from Jordan Cox. Well, again, another excellent ball there from Sam Curran. Just a quick apology. As there's an overthrow and a easy run out in the end. A mix up looking to cross. And understandably, because of the nature of the game, the last few balls. Well, Dawson certainly wants to come back for the strike. Heinrich Klassen with a soft throw makes Billings work hard, but it's the mistake that causes the confusion. Dan Worrell on strike. Just gets a little tickled under the edge, but another run out. So things are just going backwards here for the London Spirit after a strong start. And he's away. Yes, helping it away on the onside for a boundary. And a good start, Stuart Broad. That's up in the air. And taken. his feet it was heavy length and goes straight up into the cloudy sky Ellis under it catching it the Australian way oh fine shot standing up tall and finding the gap on the offside it's well struck and again almost a repeat of that uh, first shot and in the air, straight to it off. So after two boundaries, Thompson gets his man. The captain takes the catch. Be a big moment in this game. Will Jacks was timing the ball really nicely. A change of length from Jordan Thompson gets the ball fuller. Even a slower ball, an off cutter. And Will Jacks just mistimed it. and taken and that's the reason he was given that third lot big blows yeah superb bowling moving the ball away from straight and also brilliant captaincy having that slip in place yeah I was um, there wasn't much was there uh, to look forward to but obviously the boys are doing a good job here um, so hopefully they get a good game in just dropped 
A little bit slower, tried to take the pace off, but well read by Sam Curran, who just waits and then hits it into the gap. That was drilled, absolutely drilled. A high back lift from Sam Curran, saw the length early and just threw his hand through it. Well, the win predictor has shifted into the Oval of Invincibles' favour and another boundary is just going to help that race along. Down. They just gave a little bit too much width there. That wasn't quite the plan. And in the end, Cox really exploited that. Down. Well, that's a bit wider and climbed into from Sam Curran. Access through the offside. Timed and placed beautifully. Oh, I think that's gone. The bit of Glover off the bat. Yes, the umpire confirms it. The big wicket of Cox. You see what he was doing. The, the thought was right, looking to go over shot third man. A really good catch there. Yeah, and it's the field that's initiated. Well, that's a beauty. A touch fuller from Ellis. Billings is into his work quickly. He starts with a slower ball. It's really well played by Sam Billings and placed beautifully. Previous set. Down the wicket in the air, but it's going to find the gap and run away for four. Wasn't the most convincing of shots from Sam Curran, but he was lucky it goes to the boundary. Ah! Oh, it's got to be close, got to be close and given. Strain hasn't turned, pulling it across the line. Critchley gets the breakthrough. He controlled his length here beautifully. Stayed on point. Uh, we have three reds and the decision is out. Let you know when you're on screen, you're on screen now. Yeah, good decision, decision, Graham out. Lloyd. Flip leg side, that's beautifully struck. He came down the pitch, it was on the leg stump line, and he just went through with the shot. Yeah. Gets past Lawrence, beautifully struck, down the hill, four. Go oh, gone, full straight, and straight through Tom Curran. They continue to chip away the home side. Nathan Ellis managed to produce it. Straight, fast, beats Tom Curran. 21 needed, 13 balls left. Invincibles have lost six wickets. Yeah. Goes across his stumps, leg side should be taken. It's taken. They needed Billings, they've got Billings. And the cheers from the home crowd tell you that they're believing in a win now. Looking to target the leg side, and Jordan Thompson takes all the pace off, throws it wide. Cramps the room for Sam Billings, and all he can do is pick out deep mid wicket, takes a simple catch. Leg side, man out there. Oh, brilliant stop! Brilliant stop! Take They'll have to up. check it. He nearly runs Narine out. He saves four as we stand at the moment. Matthew Wade has saved four. My eye looks like he's done absolutely wonderfully. Springs himself back. Leg side, bigger boundary. And no, dropped it on this occasion. It's Mitchell out there. And that is six. Oh, and Narayan didn't quite get hold of it. Pulled it to the mid-wicket boundary. And Mitchell comes round and just creeps over the boundary, trying to take the catch. Has tried to flip the ball back into Jordan Thompson, but never got the ball in his hand. Goes offside. Is that another boundary? Oh. You bet it is. <laughs> Toe end of the bat. That will get through. They will come back for two. And it's the Invincibles that win the London derby. South London takes down North London.